Welcome back. In the previous part, we started off this very, very strange quest here. It's a curl power off. The objective of go to the table in the inn and start a contest. We only got so far through it because we didn't have enough girl talk, but I've put everyone I can who has girl talk in the group now, so we can see if we can carry on and finish this, basically. Ah, we need to settle this. Just a recap from the start, but I wouldn't want to bore you, so let's continue from where we left off. Good, because that was my worry. Ah, it's morning ready, and I've got a humding and a vizinga for you that'll perk you right up like hot yava. It's... Uh-huh. Alright. Let us turn so this far right, should, should have enough now. now. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, Hail right. Continued. Good, good. Hey, silence. You have disturbed the royal slumber. This we, can, we cannot forgive. Even if you are way cute. It's really not good for the looks to stay up like this. For our sake, why don't you go to bed yourselves? Sheba. Rifra and I are trying to settle who's got the most girl power. We really think you ought to have included us from the start, but it sounds fun nevertheless. I want you to judge which one of us has the most girl power, Sheba. Very well. We will oversee your contest. Okay, let's get down to it. Let's talk about who we're into. Oh, that really is all you think about. So, Sheba, tell us what qualities your ideal man would have. Yeah, I mean, you only like girls. So I'd be interested to hear what kind of guy you'd be into. If you were, that is. Well, we suppose that a man must be financially solvent. Financially solvent. Yes, who likes to share? But of course, we imagine there are other vital traits. If we're interested, excellent manners and breeding would be a must. For example, you'd need to know how to serve tea, yes, yes, scrub a bathtub, and have a nice villa by the lake. Don't you think that's a little... That's a lot, Sheba. You're really setting the bar high for us girls. It's just as well that we prefer girls. The man who'd meet our requirements would be a rare creature. Oof. Not really managed to talk up a storm so far. Well, maybe we haven't had the best partners so far. I'm sure the next one will be better. Maybe. Ah, it's no good. I'm done. I'm all talked out. Uh huh. All right. We still should have Let enough here. Yeah. So oh yeah, Hail right. Continued. Hopefully it doesn't go too much further. Ah, uh, we're kind of in a bind here. Yeah, no kidding. Every bout so far has ended in a draw. Better thought it. At this rate, the sun will be up before we know who's got the most girl power. I'm sure the next person who comes by will be able to help us. It's agreed to just go with whatever they say. Got it. Nia. Good timing, girl. Huh? What is it? I don't know if I'm up for any more of your weird games. No, it's nothing strange. We just want you to tell us who has the most girl power. Me or Cora? Girl power. Hmm. It's not done with your stupid contest yet. Hey, come on. Just give us an answer. Don't hold back. Just serve it as it comes. Out with it, Nia. It's me, right? I've got the most girl power. No way. I've got more girl power in my little finger. You need to back that up with something, Mithra. All your girl power's in your mouth. That's what you think, right, Nia? No. That's not what you think at all, is it, Nia? Triple dot. Okay, I decided. Who is it? Gulp. I decided not to take part in this bloody farce. Nia! Wait! Is that it? like the sun should be up before long. What time is it? <sighs> uh, it's seven o'clock. I guess the contest is over. Oh, so it is. But we don't really have a clear winner yet. Indeed. Cora, I'm starting to get the measure of you now. I hate to admit it, but you do have more girl power than me. Well, that's really big of you, Mithra. You're my only rival when it comes to girl power. I salute you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm pooped, but it was fun. Sure was. I had a great time. Maybe we should do it again sometime. Yeah, Pinky promise. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> everyone? So, how come you're all gathered together? Well now, your little contest might be over, girls. But there's one more judgment to make. It's about all your reckless gallivanting. Time for a little court-martial, I think. Uh-huh. Uh... Well, uh... Hey, listen. Didn't we help you discover your inner girl power, too? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's true. No? No. Definitely no. I think you need punishing. Really? really? What happens? You can't go around doing stuff like that. Sorry. You should think about all the hassle you've caused us. I know, sorry. Make sure it sinks in. I... we will. Is that a promise? It's a promise. In that case, the epic contest concludes without a victor. That means two losers and two forfeits. Ah, great idea, Morag. Huh? Not so fast. Something wrong? Mm, uh, <sighs> nothing. What the hell? What? <laughs> That's the forfeit? Why does this stuff keep happening to me? Mithra, don't complain. You talk the talk, now dance the dance. Gah! This is the pit! Oh dear, oh dear. If you want to blather about shoes all night, be my guest. Just leave me out of it. But I think you already knew that from when I got angry with you. Yeah, I get it now. But sometimes it's fun to get caught up in conversation, don't you think? I hope we get the chance for a little... talk sometime soon. Well, okay, but I'll have to fix it so Morag doesn't find us and give us a lecture. That was it? That was the quest? Alright. That was it? Is, is she done now then? Like... Let's see here. Was it? It's like a glimpse of the real me! I mean, we may as well do that while we're here then. We get Cora's... Heart to heart. Let's, 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 let's. Do what we came here to do originally in the previous part. So let's get that there. Got it. I give you my all. Put you back in as it well. Sounds fun. Make everyone back the, the way they should be. Did I really have you instead of? Come like you, on, you should be there. Time. And you two are fine. Okay, so yeah, we were doing we we're doing gorgs, weren't we? So we're doing his. Where is it? Yeah, speak to Gorg at the Inn in Tantal to the Hot Heart Sweet Strategy. That's what we came here for. But we'll go view Koras as well. No, no. I do want to rest. I don't want to level up. Don't ask me if I... I don't want to level up! God damn it. There we 
we go. There's something I would like... What are you doing? What's that pose? Right, there's something I would like to discuss with you all. What all this about? Gorg acting funny. It's just a minor thing that has been bothering me in battle. Why don't we have a little chatter about it at the local cafe? Very well. Good morning. I hope it didn't snore or anything. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Like a baby? Okay, so local cafe is down below, isn't it? Can you... Thank you. Oof. Ugh. Seriously, the amount of broken legs he's must have had during this entire game. Uh, you want to have a strategy meeting in a place like this, Gorg? I thought perhaps it would be nice to have a change of scenery. Now, let's start off by considering our past battle experiences. Having analyzed our battles thus far, I've come to a conclusion. Considering we have five drivers on our team, we ought to think more about our formation. Tora, get it! Tora's so busy working with Poppy, not have time to think about teamwork with Rex Rex and friends. Indeed. Synergy between blades and drivers is important, but it can only get you so far. Gorg saying we should think about synergy between driver and driver? Uh... What? What, what is that over on the other table? What? The giant pineapple? Meme! What wrong with Gorg? Hmm? Ah, no, it's nothing. What? As I was saying, we must consider the importance of the driver's actions in coordination with... Whoa. That woman over there, she's... she's eating a dessert I've never seen before. Alright, calm down. It looked like some kind of sweet pastry, but it contained... Um... Is that woman distracting you? No, no, it's nothing. There's no need to concern yourselves. Gorg's a strange one. Gorg really staring a lot, though. Tora have feeling Tora seen that lady somewhere before. Maybe she spy following us. No, really, that's really not the case. She has nothing to do with this. Meme. So, what's the deal? It's... the dessert. Dessert? What Gorg mean? I... I couldn't help noticing the dessert that woman was eating. What? That all? Gorg should have said earlier! Tora want to eat scrummy food too! We all order dessert now! All right already. Why don't we all discuss our battle plans over some dessert? In that case, I'll have three of what she's having, if you're okay with that. Three? Three? Shabus. Three. Okay, so anyway, we were doing Cora as, as, as the next one now, so we can finish her off. We didn't intend to do her stuff, but we did do it. Okay, so Fonz and Mima are out of you, hot, hot girl power, so we need to go to the inn. Okay, very well. Surprised we not jumped into that one sooner. I don't know how many times we've been to Fonz and Mima and done, like, stuff in the inn to get a hot, hot and stuff like that. So like, you, you thought we would have had that by now. I've had agates ahead of it. Meh, meh. Long journeys make Dora tired. Where to, Master Pawn? I can't know the textures here. There we go. Short rest. It's just weird walls there. Weird walls. No, I don't want to level up. Tora and friends should go to Cole's Theatre. Any special reason? Tora and Poppy practicing play. I knew you two were up to something. That's right, play about interesting story toy here from local Little Pond. Rex Rex should come and see our little show. Sounds really fun, Tora. Also, Tora, have little requests for Nia too. Huh? What's that? It's secret. Why don't we go, uh, go, go take a look? What? 
I, Did you have a rest for I mean, I want to do that now. <laughs> nice cat nap. And that's clearly not what... Is it related? I, I don't know. Probably not. Again, it's like... One chorus. There we go. Hey, you know there's a real nice Sophronia tree around here. We could head over to Blossom Shade Cliff and take a look. It won't take long. Please, come on. Won't you come and take a look? Do, do, do. Did you have a restful sleep? I like how they pop down. Right, so let's go to the theatre first. Nice cat nap. Because I'm intrigued by this thing with Tora now. What's going on there? And then we'll try and find that tree she was on about. And then we'll try and carry on with Gorg. Alright, so, heart to heart. What is going on here, Tora? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. We hope you enjoy performance of Uriah Goes to War. This is going to be so much fun. Are we the only ones watching? Where did Nia go off to? I don't know. Queen Rakura! Me think time has come to go to war with more Ardain. This is most sudden, War Minister. My lady. Wow. You're great, Nia. Shit at you. I didn't ask to take part in this farce. Ahem. This not sudden, Your Majesty. We preparing for war ever since more Ardain take occupation of Gormot. Then the preparations are complete. Preparations go steady for long time, but we can quickly make complete. Moradain soon try to conquer other countries aside from Gormot. We cannot allow ambitions to succeed. Must start war at earliest possibility. I see. So be it then. Let us make war. Wait one moment, please. You have concerns, High Minister? Titan of Mor Ardain quickly becoming so barren, crops cannot be grown. Meanwhile, we have rich soil, producing much delicious scrum rice. Why bother with war when Mor Ardain collapse on its own from famine? A valid question. No, no! If we wait, Mor Ardain just conquer more territories like Gormot! With more territories, more Ardain becomes still greater threat. Even if more Ardain Titan collapse completely, may it still be difficult to defeat whole empire. There no need to be hasty. More Ardain still not have enough territory or supplies to properly provide for own people. Gormat alone not enough to support whole of Ardanian population. In other words, more prudent to wait for more Ardain to grow weaker before attacking. Your argument is compelling. That not happen today or tomorrow, though. No, might take many decades to happen, or even centuries. We can not allow more Ardain threat to remain longer than necessary. That quite true, but now is not time to rush into things. War preparations may be in progress, but still not in optimal condition. Oh, this argument never end! Your Majesty must make final decision! Huh? You'll need to decide. Your Majesty is Queen of Uriah. Yeah, it's kind of your job. Oh, yeah, right. Let's, let's go to war. Let's go to war. Hmm. Oh, now, did you both forget your lines? Uh, uh, script of Uriah goes to war. End here. No more lines to say. Oh. Thank you for coming today, everyone. I see. I see. By showing this play to the children, you'll get them to think for themselves about whether Uriah should go to war. Hmm, that's quite clever, actually. Yeah, that's clearly the intent. It's a difficult question. I can see the kids having split opinions, too. You forced me to take part in this thing, and then it just ends like that. This is so not satisfying. A Torah and Poppy production. Oh dear. 
All right, so let's find this tree that we're meant to find. So skip travel. Araya. Stomach, I'd imagine. Um, I don't see the heart heart anywhere. Head? New car font. Still don't see it. Is it in front of me, ever? That's oh, gonna be over there, right? Okay. It's just like, where is this? It's gotta be out there somewhere. We're here. We're Let's not. get going. We're not anywhere near. Where am I? You can't just be like, we're here. We're not, mate. We're not. What are we doing with Gorg again? I don't know where we are with Gorg. Gorg was the one we started doing stuff on a while ago, and I can't remember where we are with him. Just strange. It's like, this is why my plan of like, oh, we'll do like one blade per video. It's completely been thrown out the window because it's just like, we're going to be jumping all over the place due to time and what we randomly run into and stuff like that. It's like, ugh, I can't properly do it. Because the only way I could do that now is if I recorded all of them ahead of time and I simply do not have the time to record all of them ahead of time and then reshuffle the parts, etc. It's just not practical. This is the mighty Saffronia tree. There aren't many trees with red blossoms. Wow, me! That's a real humdinger. Yep, yeah, it's pretty. Oh, hey, by the way, you hear lots of legends about big trees like this, right? Like, if you confess your love underneath them, it'll come true? Yeah, I've heard that kind of gumph before, too. Right? But if you ask me, it's probably a load of old nonsense. I mean, if it was that easy to find true love, the whole world would be full of nothing but happy folks. You seem very convinced, but have you ever tested your hypothesis? It's a fair point. What? Me? Making confessions of love? I mean, if we're gonna talk about that, how about you, Bridget? You seem the sincere, passionate type. Have you ever made a confession of love to anyone? Me? Of course not. How about you, Pyra? Uh huh? Me? Oh, but of course! <laughs> Silly me! You've already got your special someone, haven't you? Oh? Huh? What do you mean, I've already... And the same goes for you, Pandoria! Of course! Well... I'm not gonna say you're wrong. Well, wait a minute. As for you, Poppy, I guess you're still a bit young to be thinking about that kind of thing. Poppy not born yesterday, but not much more long ago than yesterday, so not really understand. Yeah, you probably just need to get a little bit bigger before this kind of thing makes sense to you. Like into a cutie pie, maybe. So, how about you, driver? Oh my. Go with that. You want a confession of love? I'll give you one right now. Huh? Right now? Ooh, wow, this is a little embarrassing. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> now, now I'm getting all nervous. Cora getting ahead of herself. Confession of love not necessarily for Cora. True enough. It could be for me. Or for me. Don't count me out of the running. Seems like there's a healthy rivalry brewing here. Come on, driver. It's time you told us exactly who it is you've got a special soft spot for. Oh, for the... I was kidding, obviously. Can't you take a joke? Just a joke? Oh. And there I was getting all excited. I honestly thought it was serious. Oh, Pyra. You're so sweet and gullible. I was just playing along, of course. Oh yeah, sure you were. Poppy sensors detected distinct rise in heart rate of Bridget. Uh, um... Hey, maybe this isn't the best place to talk about all this stuff. Let's get into it back in the girls' room at the inn. This one will be strictly for us girl blades. No drivers. It's ladies' night. We'll get a few sweet treats and just natter till the sun comes up. Ooh, I can't wait! Poppy can join in while charging battery. Good opportunity for Poppy's psychological development. Some of it could be a little advanced for you, Poppy. Even I might struggle to keep up. Indeed. Oh dear. I think I'll let Mithra handle this one. Oh, I'm so excited! I could just burst, like, literally! But 
Hey, don't worry. It's not like we're doing this just so we can trash talk drivers. So you claim. Girl power, apparently. Alright, so I'm assuming we are now done with Cora. So we'll do the double check, we'll do the double check. My power got stronger. Doesn't it feel electric? Collect an HP potion. Yeah, I'm saying we're done with Cora then. That's fair enough. All right, so back over to what we're doing with Gore because I can't remember. Feel like I'm getting there. Oh no. We get a Merc mission, but we don't need to do that. To Gorg's heart to heart, go to Fonz and Mirma Port, right, and complete the quest. Follow your passion. So, look this up. So, follow your passion. Just want to see who we need to get. All right, so follow your passion. We need to speak to Alban. So let's see about that. Skip travel. The Mima port. It's going to be one of those three, obviously. That's just guaranteed straight away. Let's get going. Ah, there it is. Right, so what I'm going to actually do is end this part here, because I feel like it's an important bit to actually just start the next part with Gorg's quest, basically, because it'll feel right starting it at the start of the next part. Try and get some balance with these parts, you know. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta, for now.